Got a, a voltage regulator out of a uh, Bosch alternator on a, uh, a Mercedes. And this is a, a common problem. You can see the uh, old brush pack on the right is wore down to almost nothing. And the new one on the left is the shiny white one. It's got about three times the uh, uh, brush length on it. And this guy in Washington State swears these go out all the time. And I just went ahead and I ordered an El Cheapo one from China. I don't know how good the quality is. But uh, let's look at my alternator here. You can see it's pretty dirty on the outside. And you can see in here where the uh, uh, stator rings are. I get some light in here so you can get a better look. You can see that they're a little bit corroded, and I'm going to take some, some real fine sandpaper and just clean them up a little so they get a little uh, better connection. And then I'll wipe them down with a uh, brake cleaner to get any grit off them or any other residue. Electric motor cleaner is ideal, but I don't have any of that. And uh, just be patient, I'll shine the light in here after, after just a little bit. I believe this is 220, but I don't know, it doesn't say on anymore. Okay, that's about all it takes to, to just lightly clean it up. You don't need to sand it down or anything, just to help the connection. It'll shine itself up when it's normally running. And uh, some cheap old brake cleaner. Just spray some on a rag like so. See the gunk and goo I got out of it. And to put these in is no big deal. When you put these in, you don't want them to get caught on the stator ring, so you've got to like pivot it. get this uh, caught when you put it in, you can actually break the, the brush holder. There's a little bit of a trick to getting this in. This is the first time I've done this style. And you just tighten them screws up. You don't got to wrench on them super hard because they get tighter after, after the alternator gets hot. If you get them too tight, you may uh, have a hard time getting them back out. And uh, I would clean these contacts up right here. So you get a good connection and then put just a little bit of a, a silicon grease, dielectric grease on uh, so you don't have corrosion problems. And uh, 
This is the part number of the regulator I bought for this one. Came from somewhere in China. I guess you can't even see that. But I ordered it uh, from a vendor on, on eBay and it was uh, less than $10. And I'm hoping this fixes my charging problem. Um, thanks for watching.